30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get filled on the App Store or Google Play. I'm Joanna So, and today's workout is going to be a core and strength focus. So for every exercise, we want to engage and activate your core muscles, okay? So it is going to be a total body workout. What you'll need is a pair of lightweight dumbbells. I would say between 3 to 4 kilos each. Let's start with a quick warm-up. Stand shoulder width apart with the toes pointed forward and slowly lower yourself down into a squat position and point your arms up. Good. So feel the stretch on your back, feel the work on your legs as well as your glutes. Keep going. Remember to keep your chest up and look straight ahead. Nice. Easy and gentle. Just waking all the muscles up. Give me two more. One. And last one. Two. All right, very good. Now, take a step forward. Let's get into a reverse lunge with a twist, okay? So, step your left leg back. Twist. And now, right leg back. And twist. Again, still warming up our body. Twist. And step back. Each step, try to lunge lower, okay? Bring your knee close to the floor. Very good. Few more. Last one more on each side. Step back and come back up. All right, now take a step back and let's get into inchworm to a push-up. And slowly inch back, come up, inch forward, push-up. Give me four, all right? And if possible, keep both legs straight. If you need to, you can bend your knees slightly. Last one more. Down. Push up. Back up. And just raise your arms up. Good. Okay, grab your dumbbells. The first workout is going to be a reverse lunge with shoulder press. Okay, so dumbbells by your side, step back, press it up, forward, back, and press it up. Good. So this workout is going to engage your core muscles, okay? Find your balance, find your focal point, and at the same time, we want to work on your shoulders. Good. Back, and step back. Good. Keep it slow, keep it steady. Back into a lunge. Press it up. Feel the power, feel the strength from your shoulders. Keep going. Woo! And drop it down. Okay, now let's get down onto the mat into a plank row with a knee tucks, all right? So again, using both dumbbells. If you're comfortable, you can place your arms on both of the dumbbells. If not, place one palm on the floor. So let's start with a row on the left, right, tuck it in, work it in the core, left, right, in and out. If for an easier version, what you can do is left, place your palms down, right, in and out, left, right, in and out, okay? For the advanced version, grab hold of both dumbbells. Good. Keep going. Remember to stay in a plank position. Do not pike your butt up. Last one and back down. Okay, now let's lie down on the mat, still holding on to our dumbbells. Let's get into a bridge position, okay? Place both dumbbells up, facing each other. So let's start with a bridge fly into reverse crunches. Give me two flies, up, squeeze your glutes, two, and now bring it down, get into a reverse crunch, back into a bridge, squeeze it, squeeze it, point it down, lower yourself, reverse crunch, and up, squeeze, and squeeze. So we want to work on your lower abs at the same time. Up, engage your core, Find your balance, down, push it up, 
back down, working on a chest, reverse fly, and reverse crunch. Good, bridge fly. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's get back up. Put the dumbbells aside. Still working on your chest and your core muscles. Spider-Man push-up. Okay, so let's get into a high plank position, okay? Start in a high plank position. As you go, get into a push-up, lower yourself down, and bring your knee to your elbow, okay? So, it's a Spider-Man push-up. As low as you can, bring your knee to your elbow. Very good. In and out. Again, do not rush through the workout. Nice and steady. Keep going. Good. Bring it down. Lower yourself into a push-up and work on your obliques by driving your knee to your elbow. Very nice. Last few more. Keep going. Last one more. And huh, take a short break. Now, if you have a lighter pair of dumbbells, grab them, okay? The next workout is going to work on, again, another plank position with a twist. So, choose your option. Either grab both dumbbells or place one hand on the floor. So, I want you to keep your arms straight into a twist, tighten your core, and now on the other side. Twist, up, lower yourself down, up, and bring it down. Good. Find your balance. Activate your core muscles. Good. Keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the work on your shoulders, your arms, and your abs. Last one more. All right. Still holding on to the light dumbbells. Let's lie down onto the floor. This is probably one of the hardest workout, but it's also my favorite, Superman squeeze. So, you can do this without any weights. Lie down onto the floor, look straight down, okay? And now let's lift your body up and squeeze your back muscles. Point it forward, squeeze, and point it forward. Woo! I can feel the intensity on my shoulders. If this is too tough, what you can do is lower it down, bring it up, squeeze, extend it, drop it, up and squeeze. Good, extend it, squeeze, extend and squeeze. Last few more, squeeze, and if this is just too challenging, drop it, continue the workout without any weights, okay? So choose your option. Lift your chest off the floor, squeeze your glutes, and now get back up, and now let's grab the heavier dumbbells, okay? Get up, and this is your final workout for this circuit. So stand wider than shoulder width apart, stand in a sumo squat position, place both dumbbells in the middle. The final workout is going to be a Y scap jump. Take your time, okay? So lower yourself, jump up, bring both legs together, up, find a balance, engage your core, up. Do not rush this workout. Really feel your entire body working, Whew. balance. Good. Up into a Y position. Back down. Both dumbbells in between your legs. Down. Up. This is a really good core workout. Whew. Find that balance. Good. Down. Up. Good. Also working on your upper body. Last one more. Down. Up. And very good. All right. That was the end of the first circuit. Keep yourself hydrated. Take a one minute rest. Okay. Right. Just take this time to really breathe in, breathe out, bring your heart rate back down. And we have two more circuits, okay? So each circuit is only seven minutes long. And I want you to really push through the circuit 
and give me your best effort, all right? If you want to get into a child's pose, relax, stretch it out. We have about 20 seconds of rest time. And it's back to the first workout. Okay, now let's get ready. Okay, choose your option. Go for slightly heavier, I would say between four to five kilos each. And now let's start at the front of your mat. The first workout is going to be a reverse lunge with shoulder press, okay? So press it up, bring it in. As you drive your leg back, push the dumbbells straight up. Good, reverse lunge with a shoulder press. Tighten your core, engage your core, suck your belly in, drive your knee close to the floor and push up. Good, push it up and down. Up and down. Woo! Oh, I love this workout. It challenges my balance as well. Push it up, down, keep going. And now, let's get down into a plank position. Plank row. So, either place your palms onto the mat or grab both dumbbells, okay? So, let's get into a high plank. All right, let's go. Left arm up, row, right, and one knee tucks. Out, back into a plank. So do not pike your butt up. Row, squeeze your back muscles, and now working on your core. Squeeze it, bring the dumbbell close to your belly. Row it, row. Left and right, very good. See that drip on the mat? That is my sweat. Oh, loving the effort. Okay, now let's lie down on your back and let's get into a bridge position. So both dumbbells up, bridge position. Remember to squeeze your glutes throughout the workout and we want to start with a fly, okay? So up, two flies, and one reverse crunch. One, tap, two, bring it down, push it up, back into a bridge, up. One, two, again down, working on your lower abs, up. Squeeze your chest, so do not rest your hands on the floor. It's just a gentle tap, up. Good, keep going. Down, push it up and back down. Squeeze the chest muscles. Feel your chest working. Push it up. And remember to keep your elbows slightly bent. And good job. All right, back up. Place the dumbbells down. Whew. Still working on our plank. Spider-Man push-up, okay? So, Start in a high plank position. Good. Let's go in a high plank position. And as you get down into a push-up, drive your knee to your elbow. Feel the squeeze on your obliques. Good. Keep going. And if this is too tough, what you can do is drop down on your knees, side and side, okay? So you can still do the workout even if you're on your knees. Choose your option. As you progress, come back up, push it, and lower yourself down. Lower yourself down. Very good. Oh, this is a total body strength and conditioning workout. Last few more. One more. And back down. Okay, grab the lighter dumbbells. Rotational plank. All right, again, if you feel that you don't have enough strength on your wrists, you can always place your palms on the floor, okay? Okay, so let's start. High plank, twist, arms straight, look straight up, twist, and look at your palms. Twist, very good. Balance yourself. If you feel that you are shaking, that is absolutely fine. That's your muscles working. Twist. Remember, do not dip your butt down. 
So stay in a high plank position and keep going. Up and down, up and down. Last one more. Up, down, and now just place the weights in front of you. Get down onto your belly. Take a short break. Superman squeeze. Oh my God, we are not stopping now. All right, this workout is not easy at all. Even if you only have one kilo, that is absolutely fine. So up, squeeze. Remember, chest off the floor, squeeze your glutes, gaze gently on the floor, squeeze your back muscles, hold it for two counts, extend, feel the work on your shoulders, and squeeze. Extend and squeeze, good. If at all, you need to stop, take a short break, and get straight back into the workout. Squeeze, very good. Last 10 seconds. Ah. Last few more. Give me one more. Extend, squeeze, and just drop the weights. Okay, now, get back up, okay? Grab your dumbbells. Whew. Okay, step wide in a sumo squat position. Oh my God, it feels like I just got out of the shower. Place both dumbbells in the middle of your legs. Get into a squat position, jump up into a wide position, back down. Swing the dumbbells back down. Use the strength of your core to swing the dumbbells up. Up, swing it up, tighten your core. Find your balance right at the top before you jump back into a sumo squat. Up, good. Halfway there, up, down, up, back down, up. Very good. Woo. Last 10 more seconds. Keep going. Give me at least two more. One more. Up, and oh. That was the end of your second circuit. You are not done. This is a solid 30 minutes workout. Take a one minute break and it's on to your final seven minutes. All right, take a one minute break. If you feel that you want to stretch it out a little bit, you can do that. Get into a plank and into downwards dog, okay? Feel the stretch on your calves, your back muscles, back into a plank and stretch it out. I want you to slow your breathing down and bring your heart rate back down into a plank and push it back into downward facing dog. Very good. And now just drop your knees and get into a child's pose. 15 seconds left. All right, and now slowly get back up. Let's get ready for our final circuit. Okay, are you ready for this? It's going to be fun. Both dumbbells by your side, all right? Stand shoulder width apart, tighten your core, and now let's go. Press it back, bring it down, back and down. Good, step as far back as you can into a lunge. Back and down, good. Remember, you're pressing straight up. The dumbbells should be right above your head. It should not be moving forward or moving back. Keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, out and in. A few more. You are strong. Good. And now, let's get down into a plank position. Plank row with knee tucks, all right? Okay, let's start in a high plank. Hold this position for another five seconds and it's straight into plank row. So tighten your core, do not pike, okay? Let's go. Left, right, knee tucks, left and right. Remember, you want your elbows to be pointing back. So do not spread it out to the side. In and out. Point it back, back, and try not to sway your hips too much. Left and right, keeping your hips 
facing towards the ground. Left and right, and in and out. Good, so do not do this, okay? This is wrong. Knee tucks, and one more. Very good. Okay, you know the next workout. Straight down. It's going to be a bridge pose with a chest fly and a reverse crunch, okay? So hold this position. Hold this position for another five seconds. I want you to engage your glutes, engage your car, core, and now let's go. Squeeze it. One, two, bring it down. Push it up, up, back down. Tap gently on the floor. Bring it back down. Push it up, good. Straight back down into a high bridge pose. Back down, push it up, up. Good, squeezing your glutes, engaging your glutes at the same time. Back down, feel the work on your lower abs. Crunch, crunch, good. Down, push it up, up. Very good, one more. Give me one more, and good. Now drop the weights, place the dumbbells down. Your favorite, push-ups, okay? So choose your option, either on your knees or on your toes. All right, with a Spider-Man um, crunch. Let's go. Crunch it, crunch it, lower yourself down, down, and down, good. Just like a Spider-Man, imagine you're climbing up a high building. Crunch and feel your left oblique and your right side. Good. Keep going. Down into a push-up. Down and up. Very good. Ten more seconds left. Whew. Push through this final circuit. Keep going. Last one more, and up. Okay, rotational plank. Right, let's challenge yourself. Let's go for the heavier dumbbell. That doesn't mean you have to rush through the workout, okay? So it's all about challenging your core strength. So let's get into a high plank, find your balance, slowly rotate, lift it up, and bring it back down. Can you feel that? It is a lot more challenging for you to balance yourself, good. And that way, you're going to engage your core even more. Bring it back down. If this is too tough, place your palms on the floor. Bring it back down, palms on the floor, grab it, rotate, back down, or grab both dumbbells. Good, working on the strength of your wrists as well. Back down, last few more. Give me one more on each side. Up, down, final one. Up, and down. Okay, now let's use a really light pair of dumbbells. Lie straight down into a superman position, okay? Stretch your body out, lengthen your legs, toes pointed up, grab your dumbbells, squeeze it, extend it out, squeeze and extend. So engage. Again, engaging your glutes and your legs as well. Look straight down, squeeze, and good. Squeeze, hold it for two counts, release, and squeeze. Whew, I can really feel my heart pumping. Ah, I am burning calories, and so are you. Keep going, squeeze, release, and squeeze. My shoulders are absolutely burning. Whew. Squeeze it, last one more, squeeze, and just drop the dumbbells. Okay, push yourself back up. All right, oh, oh. look at this sweat. If you're sweating like me, leave your comments below, okay? All right, grab the heavy dumbbell. Start in a sumo squat. Let's go up into a wide position, wide. Use your core, swing it up, stand tall, and be proud. Very good. Up and stand tall. Remember, keeping your back straight, chest up. Stand tall, squat it down, feel your legs working. Get low and get high. 
Go, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Up. Few more. Give me three more, okay guys? Two more. Last one more. All right, come on, one more for good luck. Up. And just drop the weights down, okay? Oh, very, very well done. You've completed three circuits of core and strength focus. Now, just get down onto your knees. I just want you to bring your heart rate down. My heart rate is going crazy at the moment. It's at 165. All right, just get into all fours and just arch your back. Let's stretch it out a little bit. And then curl it. Basically a cat and cow position. Again, look up. Release all the tension on your back. And again, look down. And up. Very good. Now let's get down. And I want you to slowly push yourself up into a cobra position. Again, do not sink into your shoulders, okay? Push away from your shoulders and really feel the stretch on your back as well as your shoulders. And now slowly just get into a child's pose. And just stay here for a bit. We are not rushing to go anywhere. You've completed a good solid workout and just give your body the time to relax and stretch. Feel your breath. Slowly lower your breath. And now just come back up. Get into a standing position. I just want you to take three deep breaths, okay? So reach up, get down, breathe in, and just release and sigh out loud. <sighs> Again, breathe in, really loud. <sighs> and last one more. Breathe in, feel the stretch, and let's go loud. <sighs> Really, really, really well done. I am sweaty, I'm feeling really good, and I know that you did an amazing job. So give yourself a high five. If you enjoy this workout, then be sure to check out my other strength training workouts on my YouTube channel. I promise you, if you complete every single workout, you will be sweating, you'll be feeling really good, you will improve on your strength, and you will see results. So check them out on my YouTube channel and don't forget to also subscribe. I mean, what are you doing? Subscribe now and I will see you in my next workout session. All the best.